Strategy Class, Dr. Steve Diazio here sending you this message. I'm going to outline how the remainder of the semester for this class will work. The good news is many of you or all of you are well prepared for the transition. As you know, this is challenging times, but could not be more primed for why we are studying strategy why we're trying to learn it and apply it because the reality is this is why companies do strategic management and strategic planning uh, for situations like we're dealing with right now many businesses are not prepared many businesses will go out of business many people will lose their jobs and the idea of strategy is to prevent all of those things so our company and our partner, NaviGuard, is in a situation that needs our help even more. Now, strategy we've been talking about throughout the semester and the tools, frameworks, and, and, and theories, and applying them to NaviGuard. But I want to highlight what you guys need to do for the remainder of the semester. So on March 22nd, you have the milestone 6 due which is final drafts of three and four in part five. I want you to start creating your final booklet. I'm telling you this because it's tr going to save you time later on. So think of every milestone after this, other than the presentation, should be a draft version of the final booklet. And you need to curate that. We talked about this extensively in class. There are many examples on that issue.com website that I've given you as a resource. Look at those. Of course, those are different challenges, different problems. Uh, get inspired by those. So you have milestone six due March 22nd. You will submit that and I'll provide feedback. But again, think about that as a standalone document going forward and that someone should be able to follow from beginning to the end of this course of what you went through in the learning experience if you want an idea of what's expected, look at the final booklet homework assignment. It'll give you like a list of 10 things you need to include in there. Nothing in this class is going to change. You guys are already working remotely in your groups. You should continue to work virtually to complete the group parts of the assignments. The only thing that will change is instead of us meeting in class, we're not going to be meeting in class. You will be working and following the content in the modules. I've taught this class online many times. The modules, guess what? Those are already prepared for the online students and you should be reviewing those anyways. Reading the chapters, reviewing the content, applying the tools to the brief, to the sections of the brief and to your part of your, your project. The milestones and the writing logs if you're doing the extra credit and the final presentation. The final presentation, you will create a video recording of your presentation. The good news is many of you have already done that in my other classes. Many of you already have the skills to do that and that can be done many ways. Remember, I've shown you many examples of student presentations in class. Animation, voiceover, PowerPoint converted to MP4 and uploaded to Canvas. You can use Zoom, you can use Blackboard Collaborate, you can use many different formats. I want it to be professional. You guys are in industry already. You guys will be in industry and you guys will have to create pitches virtually and run virtual meetings. Guess what? This is exactly that project. You're preparing for it now. So this is not new and you should be familiar with Google Slides, Sheets, uh, Documents, you guys should be working on this collaboratively anyways, because this is called efficiency and working in teams. So none of this is new. In fact, you've just been accelerated in terms of how to, how to apply it and how to uh, uh, work with it. So again, nothing in this class changes except that you will be making your video, pre video presentations virtually and you will record those and upload those to Canvas. I'll provide examples in the below in this uh, announcement. So. Uh, upcoming is milestone six, writing log seven. You should continue to review the content weekly, right? So we have corporate strategy and diversification coming up, corporate social responsibility and models, uh, building and organizational capabilities, 
and group presentation, final presentation and booklet coming up. So go if you go to week 15 and 16, along with the assignment of project booklet and final client presentation, they will walk you through what needs to be in all of it. No different than what we're doing, but you will be presenting the research up front in a shorter condensed version and then presenting your strategy solutions to the remainder of the 10 to 12 minutes with a strong ending and conclusion, not so different than what we've been doing, and some reflections at the end. So I've outlined what's expected in those uh, parts of the assignment, but condense the research part. Think of that being three to four minutes already, and then the remainder, remainder of the presentation anywhere from seven to eight or nine minutes should be presenting your solutions, using the tools, presenting the bigger framework, summary, conclusion, repitch, and then final uh, reflections. That's your presentation. The booklet is a standalone document. We talked about what a standalone document is. I highlight what, you, what needs to be in there. So think of the presentation as a summary of the final booklet. The final booklet is a bigger proposal. The presentation is a pitch, hence a summary of the bigger proposal. Uh, the final exam is April 22nd. This will be virtually, I will be sending, you're gonna take that through multiple choice through Canvas anyways. That's nothing new. Um, I will be sending out more information, but that's more than a month away and we have some time to, to work with due date. So again, nothing has changed. Uh, you should be working with your groups virtually. You'll be making your presentation uh, virtually that you need to upload. So work smarter, not harder. Start working on your final booklet. And every milestone going forward should be a draft version of your mile, milestone booklet. Please give thumbs up below. I'm here with you. This is why we're learning strategy. Companies need strategy to prepare of what they're going to do if trends change. This is a trend. The virus we're dealing with is impacting all types of businesses. How will they adjust to mitigate risks, to maintain top line revenue, to grow top line revenue, to create opportunities, to reduce threats, and to capitalize? That's the essence of strategy. We will see new businesses evolve. We will see old businesses die. We'll see new combinations of value and competitive advantage that hasn't been seen before. We will see a rise of a millennial class creating new businesses that didn't exist, that didn't and weren't able to compete in the uh, existing firms because they dominated the market and people weren't willing to change behavior and attitudes and now they have to adjust. Uber Eats, for instance, has cut costs for delivery. We will see a whole new transformation of how we purchase, how we socialize, how we drink, how we eat, everything. Great opportunity to start a business lean because some of these existing businesses who have been doing businesses in the old ways, the old business models, old structures, old value propositions, their competitive advantage no longer holds. And we can capitalize and we can learn strategy through this. So, I'm here for you. I'm willing to meet with you virtually anytime you need. I'll work with your groups, be in regular contact virtually. Most of you are. And I'm willing to go the extra mile if you're willing to go the extra mile. So nothing has changed with this class other than the final presentation it will be made virtually. I'll provide examples below. Be creative. You have to demonstrate uh, prototypes. Those can be embedded in the presentation. If you have a video embed, but only show the minimum required to maximize and make your point. Do not show a five minute video that wastes your time and lose the audience um, attention while you have to make your pitch, you know, right? Bottom line, minimum video to make your point and maximize your point. Use the tools that I'm giving you. Again, I'm here with you. Reach out if you have questions. Write in the comments below if you have questions, give thumbs up. Make sure you're reading this and give thumbs up so I know you're following. I don't want anyone to panic because nothing has really changed about this class. Review the content, read the chapters, execute the group work through the milestones, execute the project virtually, 
create the virtual presentation, upload it to Canvas. You got six weeks to do it. I know you're capable. I'm here with you. Signing off for now. I'll be in touch. Be safe.